Hello everyone, I must say it's always a real privilege to commentate from this venue, Selhurst Park in South London. It's Crystal Palace up against Tottenham Hotspur. And the game begins. Committed challenge. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Spurs pushing forward with options available. Out of play it goes, and it will be a throw-in. MacArthur and we're looking at a player who seems to be at the peak of his powers Hyung Min Son in what way might he contribute today Stuart well it's his ability with the ball at his feet that makes him such a good player he can go past defenders with ease he can play in tight areas and he has that bit of trickery as well I'm really looking forward to seeing him play today James Madison and Hoybier with it. Son. I must say, this looks promising. Can he put them in front? The importance of that tackle cannot be overstated. Odson Edouard. Kouyate now. Jean Philippe Mateta. Jeffrey Schroep. Looking for that final pass. Looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Well, I think a classic commentator's curse just then. Couldn't make the ideal pass. Romero. Kulusevsky. Well, that's how to beat your opponent. Well, he has cause to be grateful to his teammate. James MacArthur. And Edouard with it. It's a good Palace move in the making, but quick thinking defensively. Javier. And that is going to be a free kick. Kuyate. MacArthur. Jordan, are you here? Anderson? Are you? James MacArthur. Well, that's a splendid piece of challenging. Maybe out. Ryan Sessegnon has it. Well, no stopping him. Tottenham couldn't maintain possession. Richarlison! And there it is! The breakthrough! That will do nicely! Well, here it is again. And it was never really in doubt, was it? He was always going to score from there. underway again the onus very much on Palace to find a response now Odson Edouard 
Well, as the stats show us, Spurs haven't enjoyed that much of the ball, but what they've done with it has been really good, and they'll be happy with the way the game is being played at the moment. They love to play on the counter-attack. Now the pass not finding its target. Mitchell, Kuyate. Jean-Philippe Mateta. So almost at the break here and not quite going to plan for the home side. Work to do, Stuart. Well, I've been a little disappointed with their attack in play. It's all been a bit too slow. If they can pass into their front areas with more quality, switch play quicker and be more positive in 1v1 situations, I think they'll get back into this. Top class defending. Went in strongly, decisively. Corner given to Spurs. There will be one minute added on at the end. Well, the danger is still there. And a goal to really bolster things for them. Two in front. Well, here's the replay, and you can see why the manager is furious. It's just really poor play, offering up possession far too easily in a dangerous area. And at this level, if you keep doing that, you're going to get punished. It's just not good enough. The whistle then, we're at the halfway stage in this match. Well, an honest assessment, Stuart, would be that he hasn't really been on top of his game and attack. Yeah, he's not had his usual impact, has he? He just hasn't got on the ball in dangerous positions. He's got to keep working hard to find that little bit of space to make something happen, that's for sure. Away they go again into the second half. It was spellbinding stuff from Spurs in the first 45. Davis. Now Dyer. Pavier. Son. Pavier. And moving the ball nicely. Madison. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Schlup. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. Great strong tackle. Throw in forthcoming. Spurs to make a personnel switch now. Lucas Moura. Emerson. James Madison. And Javier with it. Son. Javier. Chance to do damage. And as a defender, you really have to concentrate to the maximum to bar the door, as he did then. Schlup. Well, he likes to run at them. Cuts it back. Well, just the tackle that was needed. And that's great work to make sure it didn't go over the line. And so, 30 minutes left for play in this one. Son. 
And the cross is very much on. Effective challenge. Odson Edouard. Kouyase now. Schlup. And Edouard with it. There wasn't much in that offside decision. Could have been in business. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Emerson Romero now Dyer promising move from Tottenham Madison Richarlison great reflex action well that should have been a goal mind you it's a brilliant save And short it is. Madison. He might be able to carve something out. Benteke. Not giving him a moment's peace. MacArthur. They couldn't maintain possession. It's the turn of Spurs now. Emerson. On the ball, Richarlison. Given away by Tottenham. Ayu. Could play it in. Using his physical strength to shield it. And pull back. Oh, good defending to stop a decent-looking attack. Breaking at pace. Well, an example of a counter-attack that went nowhere. Odson Edouard. Well, far from the ideal pass. Hoybier. Well, nearly there, this game almost over. And looking at the fans, Stuart, they appear to me to be more than a bit gutted. Well, there's been a real lack of energy right from the start of the game, certainly when they haven't had the ball. They're closing down, decision-making and recovery runs just haven't been good enough. He's in control of the situation. Sessegnon. Possession lost. It's opening up for them. He's using his strength to good effect. And the challenge halts them in their tracks. Well, taking into account all the stoppages, two minutes to be added on. Richarlison. And teammates to play it to. Spurs with the corner. And a change for Spurs at this juncture. Number 13, James Madison. To be replaced by number 8, Yves Pesuma. Let's see about the delivery. And that brings this match to an end. A day of frustration for Crystal Palace, all things considered. Where did it go wrong? Well, Derek, I thought it was a subpar performance from them. Just didn't look as sharp as normal. And I don't think they deserved anything from the game. They need to get a better performance in next time out. Well, there's a sound reason why we're focusing on him. He's made his presence felt in attack, Stuart.
Well, that performance sums him up, really. You're never disappointed with what he gives you. Such a good player.